Good morning, I'm Julio Science, along with Mauricio Riveros. Today we'll meet Luis Carasquillo, owner of Munchies Rock City Empanadas, and hear about how he started a restaurant so he'd never be hungry. We hope you will be inspired. Celebrating leaders in Rochester's unique and vibrant business community, we'll meet entrepreneurs whose passion and perseverance have helped push through life's challenges. Join us as we share their stories and journeys to success. It's time to be inspired. Luis, thank you very much to be in Be Inspired, a show that we develop to interview people like you who are willing to go out, invest, develop business. And I know your story is a great story that we would love to learn. So let's start to learn who is Luis Carrasquillo. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? As I like to start it off, I like to say, everybody, you know who this is, Munchies Rock City Empanadas. My name is Luis Carasquillo, and I am the founder of Munchies Empanadas, LLC. Wow, Luis, I love that introduction. <laughs> it's just that fire that is in place. So let's just start telling us <laughs> where, where, did, where did you born, where were you born, and you know, where did you grow up? Uh, tell us a little bit about your personal story. We want to learn more about you. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I was born here in Rochester. My parents are from Puerto Rico. I'm a, a third generation of, uh, American here. And uh, we started with the empanadas. I'm going to be honest with you. I have to be honest with the people. I started to get into the restaurant business because I, when I was growing up, I was hungry and I needed something to eat. So I said, you know what? When I'm older, I'm going to have a restaurant. I'm going to make sure that I can eat all the time. So now I'm the food man. Now I have an abundance of food. Now I feed other people. That's fantastic. And uh, now uh, I assume you make a lot of different kinds of foods at the restaurants, but empanadas are your most famous thing? They are. So uh, so let me tell you a little bit about what, what we do. So we're, we're a fusion type of restaurant. And what that means is that we have an upstate New York flavor with an island twist. We take everything that's great in upstate New York and we combine it with the island and we come up with the Rock City empanada. See, I, I like to say that my empanadas are not just an empanada. We, that's not what we sell. We don't sell an empanada. We sell the Rock City empanada. And the Rock City empanada is a community-based product. It wasn't, it wasn't just me that came up with, with that. It's the community that supported me and made me as popular and helped me build myself. We, whenever, wherever we went, they supported us. If we went to the baseball games, if we went to the beauty salons or to the barbershops or to the factories, uh, when we showed up, people were buying our food. Uh, and and I, I like to tell people, I, I still think of the days when I was kitchen, cooking out of my kitchen with, with a little burner, four burner stove, and, and in the oven, you couldn't even fit a whole chicken in there. But we made a miracle happen. A miracle happen. So it, if you are from Rochester and you know Munchie, then you know our story. And you know that we started with an empanada at a time. That's what we do. We take care of everybody by selling our famous Rock City empanadas. Our famous Rock City empanadas, our, our Rock City empanadas. Well, I love the passion that you have, Luis. And I think one of the key in any business is when you have business owners that love what they do. Because when they love what they do, they deliver the best because they are not going Absolutely. to a job. They just do their passion. So tell us a little bit about this concept of empanada. You know, United States, this is more in South America. People are more used to, to have that type of thing. How is that penetration in the market in, 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 in upstate New York, specifically with empanadas? Well, let, let me tell you a little story about the, the, uh, the empanadas. The, a lot of people might not know this, but the empanada is actually a medieval product. So during the medieval ages, it was responsible for pretty much uh, saving thousands of lives. Uh, just think about it. During those times, uh, there wasn't a lot of education. People didn't really know about agriculture and about uh, different things like that to put things together. So the people who were in charge, which, is, which were the king and queen at that time, they came up with a simple product of flour and water. You put it together and you can pretty much do anything with it. You can stuff it with whatever you want or you can just eat it by itself. And um, over the years, different cultures uh, took it and made it their own. If, if you go to parts of Africa and um, 
uh, of the Middle East, they call it a samosa. If you go to Haiti, as an example, they call it a pastel. <clears throat> uh, uh, I'm from Puerto Rico, or my parents are from Puerto Rico. I like to say we're all Americans. If you're here, we're all Americans, but my parents are from Puerto Rico. And if you're from over there, we call it an empanada. So, so um, I, I mean, even the Italians took it. The Italians took it and called it a calzone. You know, so every culture, it's such an amazing product that every culture had to have it. So that that's my responsibility as the owner of the Rock City Empanadas, because remember, we're not just an empanada. We're the Rock City Empanadas. Mm -hmm. So it's my job to educate people on the whole empanada pro uh, process and what we do. So and, and on top of that, if, if you're from the inner city, you're, you're going to know that um, we do a lot of different things with our empanadas. We, we fundraise. We help different organizations. We've helped out everybody from the police department to the, uh, the um, uh, uh, Blue Cross, Blue Shields. Uh, uh, we've, we've done things with uh, 211 Lifeline. So our, our empanadas, like I said, they're the Rock City empanadas. We, we extend to everybody. We extend our hands to everybody. And, and one of the reasons for that is because I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, we're unlike any other company out here. We were built by the people. So we are for the people. So everything that we can do to help out the general public, we do, and we don't we don't mind. Especially when I have one of those good months where I got both my food trucks out there and I make lots of money. You know what we do? We pay it back. We do we, we fundraise. We help the police department. We might pick a food kitchen. We might do something with with uh, schools. We've done things with Burtis High School, uh, you know, Charter High School, excuse me, and and things like that. So. When it comes to what I do, what I do is is I show people that it is possible to be out here and create a company in the inner city that is popular and could survive. You know, you're such you're so passionate about your business and and putting together some you know quality great food. How do you make sure when you hire employees that they have that same kind of attitude? So so uh, this is this is my whole thing. When you hire people, you don't just hire an employee. Hire somebody who actually wants to do something with themselves. See, well, let, let me explain to you what I mean by that. Uh, so when I was growing up, there weren't a lot of opportunities out here. Uh, you know, I, 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 had to, I had to learn. Whatever, whatever I'm doing right now, I had to put myself into it, and I had to learn it. So, so growing up, this is what I learned get people in a position where they can take care of themselves. So when you hire an employee, don't just hire the employee, hire him and give him a position where he can take care of his family or where she can take care of her family. Uh, as far as the Rock City and Penale goes, we're not hiring employees. We're hiring bosses. We're hiring future leaders. That's what we want. We want, I don't want to be the owner of Munchies Rock City and Penales. I want Munchies Rock City and Penales to be a company that we can all own. You know, I, I want you to own Munchies Rock City and Panada, so stay tuned. We're going to be looking for you. <laughs> so, so you know, because we have an amazing product, and we want everybody to to uh, to participate and to make it their own. There's a lot of money to be made, and I like to tell everybody, we're a lot of companies out here, they say, oh, we're, we're a nonprofit organization, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. Well, guess what? I haven't seen anything in the inner city. There's a lot of us still suffering out here. There's a lot of things still happening. And 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 the Rock City in Panada is going to make sure that a lot of things that, that were happening uh, when I was growing up aren't happening no more. For example, opportunities. A lot of the kids now nowadays, you know, they're going through a lot of things that I went through when I was a kid, and that's not fair. You know, they're, they're, they're going through different things that they shouldn't be going through. Uh, they don't know. They don't know where they're going to go. Should they go to school? Are they going to take vocational training? The, the corner hustlers, if they live in the inner city, are telling them to come with me. There's a lot of things going on. And and my company restores that. You don't have to do that. If you're confused, you can say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to be part of the Rock City. Well, I love uh, the way how you engage with the community and be able to understand that a private company can also have a significant impact in the community. And that is uh, wonderful, Luis. Now, 
let's go one step further and let's understand right now your location. If we talk about your location, what markets you have been serving, what areas of the city you have been serving, uh, and tell us about, you know, do you de do deliver, what type of, of services you provide to your clients? Okay. So when I first started, uh, it's, it's a funny story because I, I started with um, the idea that I was about to get rich. I said, I'm going to have a lot of food. I'm going to be able to eat anything I want. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to get rich. Well, 20 years later, I didn't get rich. <laughs> but we created an amazing product. And about 10 years ago, we changed our concept. And it was the best thing I could have did. When I first started, uh, I, I, like everybody else, I wanted to have a lot of different things on my menu. I had pasta, I had cheeseburgers, I had empanadas, I had a whole bunch of different things. And um, I was selling, but I wasn't selling everything. So if, if you have a, a, a large menu and you don't sell everything at the end of the month, you're going to see that it's going to hurt you. You're going to start taking losses. So the best thing that I could have did was to, to stop and focus on one product, which was the empanada, and that was the best thing I could have did. When I focused on that, everything changed. All sales went up, and I had the opportunity to actually learn how to actually manipulate that product and put it into different places. Uh, one of the one of the first places that we um, we signed up with when we con changed our concept was uh, Seabreeze. Seabreeze Amusement Park is our oldest contract. We've been with them for about eight years. So if you've been to Seabreeze within the past eight years, uh, those empanadas came from monkeys. Those are the Rock City empanadas, you know? So uh, at the same time, we've done business with um, the zoo, the Seneca Park Zoo. They carried our product. Uh, uh, our, our, our biggest contract to date right now is um, for the Rochester Institute of Technology. We, we actually have uh, two contracts set up with them. We have a wholesale contract set up with them whereas they buy my product and sell it on and we also have a contract with our um famous rock city and Pinellas for our food truck so our food trucks are there on the weekends and on thursdays our restaurant is there uh, at gracie's gracie's is their biggest cafeteria there so yeah the, we've we've done pretty good but right, wait a minute don't forget the genesee country village and museum they i don't want them to get mad at me <laughs> we all, we also um, do business with them, and they buy our, our empanadas wholesale, too. So uh, there's a lot of different companies that we, um, we're going to be doing business with in the future because the idea is to, to produce and distribute, but not just distribute to just anybody. We want to distribute to a lot of the local businesses out here that, that car carry a similar product, but it's not the Rock City Empanada. And and um, we don't want to be in competition with with other restaurants because we're we don't consider ourselves just a restaurant. I'm going to be honest with you. We're 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 more of a wholesale distribution company. We do have a brick and mortar, but but um, it's it's we're in transition. So so going forward, we want all the the Latino restaurants. And even if you're not Latino and you carry a similar product, we want you to know we're not in competition with you. We want to create an amazing product so that we can all share a profit in. That's what we want to do. Well, thank you, Lise. We'll be back with more after these messages. I, I love how you want to, you know, uh, encourage other people to be a part of that and, and, and understand how to make money. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing. Um, now, if... What would you say to somebody, I mean, you have so much great energy and everything. What would you say to someone who maybe doesn't want to get into the empanada business, has another idea for a business? What would you tell that person to inspire them to, you know, what advice would you give them as far as, hey, you know what, you can do it too? See, this is exactly what I mean. This is exactly what I was trying to say a little while ago. Um, I, I don't want people to think, see, that the Rock City Empanada, which, yes, our 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 foundation um, is has to do with empanadas and with Spanish food and things like that. But like like um like my daughter as an example, she wants to be a beautician or something like that, you know. So we encourage her to do that, and we use the funds. Um, we're 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 trying to attach the um the Rock City empanadas to a fund, a city fund, 
that will actually help out different people in the future. Let me give you an example of what I'm saying. Sir. Julio, Julio wants to be, I don't know, he wants to be a pilot. And he says, you know what? I'm going to be a pilot, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. So you know what? I'm going to call the Rock City and Panala Company, and I'm going to see what, what they got available, if they have any funds available to help me, if they have any resources or know anybody that can help us um, uh, get to the next level. And that's our main goal. Because uh, in, in Rochester, I'm going to be honest with you, one of the, 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 um, the downfalls to opening up a business in the city is not knowing. You're not informed. And when you're not informed and you don't know, you fail, you know, and, 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 and that's a big problem. And I'm telling you by experience because I just started to get my, my company to where it needs to be. And I didn't have that before. You know, I didn't have that before, not because I didn't cook good or because I didn't do it, was doing something wrong. I wasn't informed. I didn't know that I was supposed to be connected and informed. Uh, a, a good example of what I'm saying is, Let's talk about the mayor's office, um, Mayor Lovely Warren. I, I I like her. I'm going to be honest with you. I like her, and I'm going to tell you why I like her. Uh, before she was in power, I had a restaurant. Before she was the mayor, I had a restaurant, and I didn't have access to nothing. As a matter of fact, when I went to City Hall, I felt uncomfortable. I didn't know what to do. Under Under her administration, I learned how to get different grants. There were, there were different things available. Uh, she put uh, different people in position that helped me out, like Daisy Algarin. Daisy has been an amazing help uh, to, to the company. I mean, uh, what I'm talking about right now is is what I wanted, what what everybody should should have. Good, Luis, this is very good, a very powerful a testimony of, you know, a business owner who was able to, develop a great organization, uh, you have passion for what you do, you understand the principles of not only selling a product, but really developing relationships, because that's what really oh, yeah. matters. And, and, and I, I don't know about anywhere else, but I know that in Rochester, it, it's, it's, it pays to know people. It's okay to, to put yourself out there, to extend your hand and to get to know people. Uh, that's how... That's how you get things done. You know, I, I, a lot of times, if you don't know somebody, you can't get things done. And you know, me, for example, I know a lot of people. I, I call, hey, how you doing? This is Munchie. Is there any possibility to get things done? Well, if they can, they will, because they know what I'm about. They know me. You know, so so I, in the future, we want people to be connected, and 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 I'm their connection. You know, and you're their connection because you have the radio station and you have the TV thing going on, and you're. You're putting all of our words and all of these things into action. So, so going forward towards the future, this is going to be huge. We need more, more shows like, like this to put everybody out there, to let people know, hey, we have a voice. It's okay. We can figure it out. Things can happen. And, and I don't want companies to be scared to be successful. Because that's another thing. Don't be scared to be successful to make money. Make it happen. Make it happen. But don't forget, the way you make it happen is to help make other people successful. While other people are becoming successful, while I'm helping other people, guess what happens to my brand? <laughs> guess what happened to Munchies, Rexy, and Pinellas? Boy, we skyrocket, you know, straight to the moon. So so that's, people got to think like that, you know, and and, and they got to extend their hands. And, and out here, you know, a lot of our youths, they need opportunities. They need to know that there's there's a voice. They need to know that there's they can be connected to us, to all of us. They can touch us. They can touch Munchies. They can touch you. They can come over and talk to us. We we can we can put them together with different people. We can put our resources together and help out a community that's just starving for success. Really, really inspiring. Uh, your example, Luis. I love the passion. I love the dedication that you have for your empanadas and not for only empanadas but for the community and really to understand the role that you play as a leader in this community so Luis uh, again where is the location of your restaurant and if people can give you a call also to order for your empanadas it will be great absolutely so we're located at 154 North Clinton Avenue on the corner of Clinton and Andrews so it's um it's across the street from the YWCA 
And um, we have two giant food trucks sitting in the parking lot, so you can't miss it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just look for us. And um, if you want to order, our telephone number is 585-435-6848. Uh, we're just doing curbside right now and uh, delivery. So if you want us to bring you the food or you want to pick it up, uh, park in the parking lot, and we'll go out there and bring it to you. Uh, and don't forget, uh, we rent on our food trucks. We do uh, office parties, birthdays, weddings. Uh, so you let us know. We'll pull up. We do pop-ups. Call us up and say, hey, we want those empanadas. And we'll come right to you guys. All right? So you hey. guys, if you didn't know, you're going to know now. This is Munchies Rock City Empanada. <laughs> Thank you very much, Luis. We really, really appreciate it. And I'm sure that we will have in the future shows uh, learning more of the great things that you are doing with your business and with your cooperation to the community. Again, it was a really an inspiration to have you today. Thank you very much. I'm really happy. I'm really honored that you had me on your show. And I look forward to uh, being on your, on your show in the future again. Coming up next week on Be Inspired, we'll meet Hector Castillo Carvajal, who started his own coffee business while still a student at the University of Rochester. To watch today's episode and the complete interviews of our guests, go to rochesterfirst.com slash be inspired. For more great talk with Rochester's entrepreneurs, listen to Bodet 97.1, Saturdays at 9 a.m. For Mauricio Riveros, I'm Julio Sainz. We'll see you next week on Be Inspired.